Hello, Minasan, Hiki and Mariko Des, and welcome to another indie game. This one's called Space Kitty Destroyer, and it's by the developer Shrouding Dawn. So, uh, the game just boots in this screen. I don't have any controls or whatsoever, I think. I do. Okay. It seems I latch myself at stuff with, with a right click. Should, should I get that cap? Uh, arrow keys. Uh, let me check the itch.io page real quick. It says, uh, mouse right click, grappling launch with reeling, used to gain momentum. Mouse left click, grappling launch to rotate around hook point. WSD for maneuvering when speeding. Okay. I, I, I don't get what any of that means, but... Okay, but it's called cat shooter, right? So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just... Like, roam around? Woo! I was pretty sure I was going to shoot kitties with my laser or something. <laughs> Just because of the name. I do have a score, but how do I score? I don't even know what I'm doing. Wait, what? What happened? I'm unsure of what I'm doing. I obviously cannot reach the other cats because they are just part of the background, right? So how do I, how do I score? Okay, okay. So I need to destroy these things, but I need a certain amount. How am I supposed to get speed? This is complicated. I don't, I don't quite get the, how to play this game or the appeal of it. Uh, how do I reset the game? R? I guess I cannot reset the game. Oh yeah, this game is supposed to be for the score space jam 28. I don't know the limitations of the jam. Um, overview, let me read the, the things for the jam. Um, this is a game jam that involves both game devs and streamers in the contest. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> We're actually excited to know that space begin the foolish games on PC. We're also super excited to have lot look look looker. Okay, that's competition starts. Rules. All games must include a leaderboard system, offline or online, so the players can compete for a high score. If they happen to win the contest, we suggest you check out Loot Looker for your leaderboard so they can be added on your game really easily. You can make the game on your own. Blah, blah, blah. All games are allowed. Okay, it's just it's just a game with a score, right? So I guess Yeah, like that. Okay. I guess I can just do that, right? But Oh, I can I can latch myself to the There's nothing in here. There's nothing to latch on to. I'm lost in space. I'm just a cat. Lost in space. With like 600 score. It seems I cannot latch to things that are too far away, for some reason. It seems like I can only destroy the... Oh, 
the yellow stones. I also don't like that I lose all my speed when I crash into something. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense, but... From a gameplay perspective, it's not as fun. Yeah. Because I just get stuck in here. I think I'm stuck. Yeah, because if you lose all the momentum when you... When you crash and there's nothing else around to latch on you, you're done, for, right? Um, I don't think there's other controls for the game. Yep, just just clicking and WASD. Yeah, so uh, I think that's it. I'm stuck in here. Can you help me, kitties, please? Can I latch into you? Wait, I, I threw the... For a moment, right? I think it was just like a glimmer of a star. Might be a good idea to latch onto the cats, right? Yep, I I'm completely stuck. Um, there's not even a pause menu in this game. Oops. Um. Well, I'm gonna have to close the game, then have to open it again. That's kind of weird. Um, okay, I'm back at it again. Yeah, even if you are like moving, you you come to a halt when you crash onto something, and there's nothing else to. Like, for example, here, shouldn't I be winning speed, but I'm actually losing speed? I don't understand the point of the... Of the left clicking. How, how fast do I have to go for things to actually break? That was on me. <laughs> yeah, I think I think well this is this is the whole game, right? There's nothing else in here. I think the idea is good. The concept it's good, but I don't think it's properly executed. That's the problem with, with physics based games. It's they're really hard to to nail, right? It's it's as a developer, I think it's really hard to make a physics-based game that it's fun because you have to to consider a bunch of things. Like I just got stuck again. So yeah, I think that's the whole game. Um, some commentary about this game. Uh, I like the concept. The game looks cute. The music, it's cute, right? It's a cute game with cats. We kind of we all can agree on that, but. I don't know. I know this is a game jam, and game jam games have like twenty four hours, twenty eight hours, two days, three days. Like it's it's a really short development time, but it pains me to believe that someone actually, like I don't think someone actually play tested this for more than five seconds, because you would you would notice that you get stuck in here, right? As far as I can see, uh, and one thing I always mention to developers on on itch.io, always put the controllers. The, the, the controls on the game, right? You can put them like right here, it's empty space, right here, it's empty space. Make a main menu and show me the controls there. I know they're on the itch.io page, but you have to understand some people just boot the game and want to play the game. They don't want to go and look at the itch.io page, see the controllers. Am I missing a controller? I'm gonna have to like all tap out of the game and go to it. That, that's annoying, That that's not good game design. And again, I understand 
game jam game uh, limitation on time, right? But I think that's one of the basic things. Like one of the first things you have to make for your game, it's the main menu screen and the controls, right? The, the controls available to see uh, for the player on the game, uh, inside the game. Um, and the other thing, it's obviously that I, I think how the grappling hook works, it's amazing. I like it, but you get stuck fairly frequently. So something that may fix the thing is make the make that you you can attach to the. I don't know if this is just like a background animation, right? But maybe make the the cat's actual sprite, and you can latch onto the cats. And since the since the cats are moving, eventually one cat is gonna come close to you, so you can latch onto it, right? Or maybe put something else in here, like a circle that you can latch on. So. And and make the separation of the of the of the sprites enough so you can you always are in like the range of grabbing one, so you don't get stuck in the game because uh, uh, this is so off-putting. I was having fun with the game and just getting stuck while I see and I, I think you guys cannot see it but like behind me there's one rock in there, there's one rock in here, and I cannot reach it. I cannot I can't see it but I cannot reach it so. At least make sure that the, the grappling hook can reach as as far as, as the player can see, right? That, that will make enough sense. Or maybe let the player move slowly on their own, right? I know, I know that kind of ruins the whole grappling hook movement, physics-based stuff. But it's going to prevent this kind of thing from happening, right? So, yeah, the, the gameplay is obviously not... Um good <laughs> because you cannot play the game uh let me close the game again uh yeah there's there's a lot of things to say about gameplay but if you cannot if you cannot play the game properly yeah there if you cannot play the game properly then it's not good gameplay i like the the speed of matter it's nice to see the numbers i, I think it will be pretty fun to see how big of a number can you get before you get bored, right? But like coming to the stop after hitting something. Look, I'm stuck again. It took me four movements, I think, to get stuck. So yeah, this is this is obviously like game breaking in the sense that it ruins the experience. So uh, I'm afraid I cannot give this game a good score, right? Because the, the part that it's actually gameplay cannot be done properly. And yeah, it looks cute. It sounds good. I think that uh, the, the physics are interesting. I think that earns like two stars for the game. I think it's fair enough. Uh, two stars for this game. It's obviously not completely trash. And I'm also considering that it's a game jam game. Um, but it's... Almost literally unplayable, <laughs> so yeah, no, I cannot give this a good score. Uh, I like the concept, uh, probably with a little more work on the on the balancing of, of the gameplay. Actual, like actually, play your game for like two three hours, and you can't see these kind of errors, right? Um, if it was me, like obviously post game jam because obviously game jams limited time, blah blah blah. Um, having some power ups that make you go faster or like. I don't know, like a rocket boost or something. Like I think power ups to this kind of game always makes them better. Like always, because it adds so much like replayability. Like oh, I, I want to try this new, this new power up or something like that, right? I don't know. Like it's gonna at least give you like a couple of hours of fun if you add some power ups. Maybe the cats can be the power ups and they can be different colors. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't think as a concept. I like it, but as a game, I don't think it works properly. So sadly, I cannot give this a, a good score. Uh, I'm not going to give it one star because obviously, aside from the obvious gameplay mistake, everything else works and I don't think it's a one star game. I would like to give it three stars, but I cannot. I have to stick by my by my review methods and it's going to be two stars for this game. Uh, but I like to make the mention that even if it's two stars, I, I still like the game. Like, I wish I could play more of it, but I, I'm not up for, like, closing and opening the game every time I get stuck, right? And like I mentioned, I tried everything. I click air and everything and everything. I don't know what this even is. I think this is just part of the HUD, right? This is this is nothing. I like the, the little kitty cat moving the tail, blinking. 
cute. I, I mean, the game visually, it's nice. The music, it's nice. But the gameplay, it's not there. So I think that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, developer, for making the game. I'm sorry I, I couldn't play it properly. And I will see you guys in the next indie game stream or whatever I decide to do in this channel. I'll see you later.